Hello everybody, this is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers ship review video. This time we are reviewing a frigate that you guys requested. Someone requested to want to know what the first frigate was uh, in the frigates video. And uh, this is what it is. It's an older frigate within Space Engineers, which is why you're going to notice this thing has very few of the more modern blocks like we have much sharper angles than this but this is what people used to build back in the day and they designs still stand up pretty good nowadays but anyway to give you guys an idea of what this is this is the i believe atlas class frigate mark one it is a five star rated frigate we're gonna help that up has none of the DLC packs because this is probably one of the first frigates ever built uh, it comes with a door comes with a jump drive uh, let's see what else new airlock system with automatic door sensors decoys are not working at the moment <laughs> but it, it is a different um, ship apparently it can also build mines which is, is not bad so I'll put a link to this in the description you guys can check it out by the way, let's get started looking at this bad boy. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized frigate. Uh, this, in my opinion, probably technically qualifies as a missile frigate. It is armed with two rocket launchers on the front, and it is also armed with dedicated rocket launchers in the very front. You could replace all of this with a set of rail guns, and it would probably work just as well. I do think this thing has a couple of merge blocks in here, which means you can probably knock off all this armor and uh, just cut the armor and run, which makes for a pretty interesting design idea. Uh, I'm going to have to build something kind of this tactical and technical at some point in time. Me see, we've got a pretty decent bridge. Like I said, this is before they really brought out the other angle blocks we used to have. This is the limitations of what people had to deal with back in the day. And it's also good to learn from old designs like this because old designs like this can come up, you can learn a whole lot of things that newer modern designs just don't have or people aren't designing with. To get inside this thing, you kind of have to go in here. And it has door sensors. It has automated doors, so we don't even have to do anything. All the doors are just censored. We have weapon maintenance, a couple cryo tubes. It looks like we can go up here into the main engineering. We've got a large nuclear reactor with a jump drive. Very nice. So I believe this is engineering. This door has to be manually opened. I don't know what's supposed to be in here. Like I said, this is uh, probably just a corridor. These look like ion thrusters. So, it, it's really an older model ship. You can see there's a lot of things that aren't done to a certain degree. There's a lot more open spaces in older model ships as well. Because you had to... People, to make an interesting ship, you had to, you know, open up a bit. And then we've gotten blocks recently that are making it easier to build up a ship and make it look interesting. Right over here we got this. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, this is an airlock on the outside. Did not know that was a thing. Okay, well, that's interesting. So we'll head up here now. We have a small gun here and the bridge. Here we are. Let's take this thing for a test spin. That's apparently not the pilot seat. Is this the pilot seat? Oh, it's not moving. Hmm. Is this not the... I was pretty dang certain that was the pilot seat. I guess not. Hold up. Is this thing a station? It may be a station. Let's check here. Info. No, it's not a station. Okay, so these don't control anything up here. They could be for show. That one doesn't do anything. And... Alright, here we go. This is the one that apparently controls it. 
Now, it doesn't turn very effectively. Let's throw the tab on here. Let's see how good we're doing. Yeah, we're picking up speed pretty quick. But then turning this thing, you see back in the day, maneuverability was not very well thought of. It also could be, this thing could be made of just straight up heavy armor. But it doesn't look like it. But yeah, it's got two dual uh, antennas. It's got multiple guns. Uh, enough firepower to protect yourself while you're out here. It's an adequate ship. I mean, it's an adequate ship. Looks good for the blocks. But if you were to update this ship, add the new blocks to it, make it a little more pointy and angular looking, it would probably be one of the better ships on the deal. Still a very popular frigate to build. It's Like I said, it is very slow. <laughs> we'll put it like that. It's a very slow ship. It's not one of those things that's meant to be hyper fast, unlike modern ships. More space engineers, uh, modern space engineers builds, they are a little bit quicker ships than uh, something like this would be nowadays. So if you wanted a much faster ship, there are way better ways of doing it. This uses a lot of ion thrust, and I think it probably also uses a lot of uh, heavy armor as well to protect itself. Um, that was kind of the way, you know, this is a lot of space armor as well. That was the best way to defend your ship because the heaviest weapons we had back then before Warfare 1 or Warfare 2 was rockets. And rockets could just devastate another ship until the new penetrating weaponry came in and those kind of didn't make space armor, spaced armor obsolete, but it did create a problem with spaced armor that it's no longer the meta, I should say. It's no longer the meta. You pretty much can build a ship however you want. You have just as much chance of getting blown up in it as you would with something with spaced armor. But regardless, the spaced armor effect really does give these older ships a much better vibe. It's kind of like looking at an old car. If you stop and think about it, it is, it is very much looking like an older model car. You see a lot of things that they did back in the day that don't that technically, from a technical or engineering standpoint in a modern era, don't look very interesting or kind of seem stupid. But you look at that and you say, why can't they just, you know, bite the bullet and just put some of that on a car or fix it? I mean, this old space armor concept, I, I still like it. It's still usable, but people just don't use it as much as they used to. And I, I really like it because it adds a certain level of flair and detail that you just don't see in ships in Space Engineers anymore. Kind of odd we're having this reminiscent point. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I'd like to mention, Rumble has been fixed. They are now apparently rapidly reloading uh, loading videos up onto the channel. Uh, I guess Rumble was trying to see. You guys went over there and y'all really hammered away at Rumble you guys went and watched all the videos that were over there i got i got so many views and then next thing i know they're just now uploading so if you guys want to go over there watch a couple stuff over on rumble i'm going to try and put some special stuff on rumble things that are probably too spicy for youtube <laughs> so uh, i would suggest y'all head over there and check that out anyway if you want to check out this uh ship be sure to look down in the comment, or not in the comments, the description uh, underneath the title. And there will be a link to this in the description. You guys can go check it out and uh, take a look at it. But yeah, this is the Atlas Mark I Frigate. And uh, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.